Hello and welcome back to the channel. Time for a van waffle, I think, because I can't work today. The wind is ridiculous. Um, it's actually died off a little bit now, but... Um, Friday the 17th of February. This is the 17th, I think. And I uh, set the tower up this morning at my job for a roof scrape. I will put the picture up here of the tower for you. Um, and I started off okay, but the wind really picked up. Storm Dudley or Storm Eunice, I think it is. Uh, yeah, and it, it just got too unsafe to, to carry on. I could feel the pole going. Um, I was on the GVS Pro 30. Um, it, it was just, just too risky. Um, I could feel the pole going every now and then. So I just said to the customer, look, you know, I've, I've done half the back. I'm going to come back another day because this is just, it's not safe. Um, I've stripped half the tower down and left that in their back garden. Uh, I might be able to go back tomorrow afternoon and do some. I'm not sure. Or possibly Sunday. Um, but yeah, the, you know, and I've I've looked on some of the Facebook pages and people are saying... Oh, if you're out in this weather, if you're working in this, you must be skint. No, it's not a case of being skint, it's a case of being dedicated and getting through my work so I don't get a backlog. Um, we had some torrential downpour and then it dries out and the sun goes blue and the sun goes blue. The sky goes blue and the sun comes out. But apart from that, it's just, it's too, it's, it's too much. You know, and you've got to be safe. Oh, so the wind has actually died down a little bit now, but um, it did that earlier. It died down and it was blustery and then you get a sudden gust and then it go blustery and then you get a sudden gust. So that, that was a bit dodgy. Um, and I just, it's just not worth taking the risk. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've just had my lunch. Um, I had a few emails from subscribers that are seem to be struggling with um, with getting work at the moment. There's a guy local to me in Shirley, um, and there's a guy in Grimsby that's just started out. Um, I have got a few people that are going to come and do a day's work with me so they can get some on the job experience, um, which is which is all good. Uh, a couple of guys at the WhatsApp group are coming up to do some work with me as well. Um, so it's. It's all, all happening, to be honest, at the moment. Um, some of the WhatsApp, uh, some of the emails I've been getting from uh, from subscribers, the, the guy that's quite local to me in Solly Hall, he's, um, he's been uh, struggling to get work. Um, and the Solly Hall in Shirley area is quite saturated with window cleaning. So he's, he's finding it quite difficult to get work and he's obviously he's panicking and struggling a little bit you know, financially, obviously, because you can't seem to get the work. But if you get a, if you get an area like that where you're heavily saturated, you need to move away from that area a little bit. Um, I spoke to someone before about it, and they'd said that there was just too many window cleaners in the area. And I said, well, that, there's no point in you all fighting for that same bit of cheese because all that's happening is it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner, and everybody starts dropping the price to get work because they're desperate. And it, it just ruins the market for everybody, including yourself. So you're much better to just drive 20 minutes, half hour away from that area and start somewhere else. You're always going to have um, several window cleaners in an area. It doesn't matter what area it is, whether it's, for me in Birmingham, whether it's Acox Green, Sutton Coalfield, Yardley, Sheldon, Catherine de Barn, so that you're always going to get uh, several window cleaners in that area. It's just, it's just natural. Um, but there is enough work to go around. But if it's, if it, if it gets heavily saturated in your area, then move, just move away slightly because there is plenty of work to go around. You know, if you, if you were to just travel twenty minutes down the road or half hour down the road, even if it's an hour, if it's an hour's drive, but you've just picked up twenty customers. It's quite worth that. It's yeah, it's worth that one hour drive to do those customers. Um, 
Oh, recently the, the last video I put up of the of the roof scrape, that was that was in Gloucestershire. That's like an hour and a half drive away, but it's worth it for the big job. So even if you just got if you got ten customers in an area, and it takes you an hour to get there, an hour to get home, and you can do that in a day, then it's worth it because if you do fifteen pound a house, everybody's quite quite simple maths. That's why I said ten customers. Fifteen pound a house. That's one hundred and fifty pound. That's that's a good day's wage, especially if you've gone from struggling and not earning a lot. So just just travel just half hour, pick a direction and just kind of travel half an hour, forty five minutes in, in in that direction, and door knock, leaflet, whatever you're comfortable doing, do that. Um, I was talking to the guy. I think his name was Gavin. I think it was Gavin was from Shirley. And I think the guy that was asking about for helping Grimsby, I think his name was Jake. Sorry, I'm terrible at remembering names. Um, but the sometimes you've got to travel out a little bit. And how can I explain it? You, you've got to do what's comfortable for you marketing-wise. Some people are not comfortable door knocking. I'm not comfortable door knocking. I'm confident door knocking. But I just feel I'm bothering people and I'm encroaching on their personal time. I've said this before. Um, and I think it's very time consuming. Whereas a leaflet drop, although a leaflet drop is slow burning, it's quicker to do a leaflet drop than door knock. Because I did a little a little um, experiment where I did some door knocking. And I'd ring the bell. I'd be standing there for a minute and a half, two minutes. And then somebody comes to the door and says, oh, no, we're not interested, thank you. And like, well, you know, or nobody answers the door at all. And you're standing there for two or three minutes. Of course, you do that for 10 hours. If there's half hour you've lost of hanging about. Um, some people will come out and they'll say, oh, yeah, we are interested, actually. Could we get a quote for this? This, and That's fine. But most of the time, people are not in or, oh, no, we're not interested, thank you. I prefer to just leaflet drop. I can blanket an air, a much bigger area by just popping leaflets through. If somebody's out on the driveway or they're coming out of the house or they've just pulled up onto the drive, whatever, um, I do always say to them, uh, oh yeah, I'm all right, just leave a leaflet with you for exterior cleaning, windows, driveways, patios, roofs and guttering. And I just pass on the leaflet and then I just walk away. I just say, thanks very much, have a good day, pass them the leaflet, and I walk away. I don't try and engage them too much in conversation and come across too pushy. And a few times I've done that, they've got a um, clearing guttering out, and then I'll stop, I'll turn, I'll say, yeah, I use a, a gutter vacuum so I can do it safely from the ground. I've got a camera on the end so I can show you the footage. Um, I can give you a quote if you like, or you've got my details there, just let me know when you're ready. I never want to come across too pushy. I always want to just have that standoff. One, it doesn't make you look like you're desperate um, for work. Two, you don't come across a little bit pushy because some people, some people are like, oh, he, he was a bit, you know, he, he came right up to me and he was explaining too much to me too quick. Sometimes people need to just have a think about it, speak to the other half. So, yeah, um, wh whatever marketing works for you, do that. I, like I said, I prefer leaflet work, leafleting. Um, and... Here comes the rain again. Um, there's there's plenty of work out there. If you if your area is saturated, slightly move out. Whether it be an hour's drive, you could pick up ten customers. You could pick ten twenty pound houses up by just travelling half hour an hour down the road, and <clears throat> it doesn't have to be that far. It's just you just need to get away from where the the the, the, the saturated area is of window cleaners because. A lot of window cleaners, um, not all, but a lot of window cleaners will only work in a certain area. We've got a guy in the WhatsApp group and he never really travels further than five miles from his area. He's got some new builds being built by him, so he's going to get some growth from there, hopefully. But Aidan in Gloucester, he's got a very, it's not a small round, but it's a compact round. And some people might ring him up and say, would you cover this side? And he'll, no, sorry, I don't. And he won't do it, and he's quite right because he needs to he needs to to build the roundup in a nice compact way. But uh, if another two or three window cleaners went into Aiden's area, they're not going to do very well because Aiden's already established there. 
Um, there are other window cleaners there, don't get me wrong. But if you started to add more to it, for example, Gavin from Shirley, if he's now trying to get in where there's already an established window cleaner, you're wasting your time. Cut your losses. Move out of the area to somewhere else. Um, so that's pretty much what the van waffle's about. Um, I was hoping to get <clears throat> a bit more footage. I have got some more roofs to do. Um, I've got a roof scrape coming up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, Friday, I'm cleaning some walls on a house, which will clean up really nice. I've done a test patch on that. Um, I'll put the test patch picture here. And then uh, hopefully we can get to do a video on that. I haven't asked her yet if she's okay for me to film, but hopefully um, she's happy with me filming. But that, that will come up really nice. And I think that's, um, that's about it for next week. And then we've got, I've said we again, I'm on my own. It's only me, look. Um, yeah, I've got uh, March. There are one, two, three, four, five, I think it's five patios and a driveway booked in for March. Uh, I've got a couple of lads that I think are going to come and work with me then. And some gutters to do at uh, one of the retirement homes that I look after and there's a patio at one of the retirement homes as well <coughs> and some bin cleaning to do so I'm busy I've got plenty of work on um oh, by the way welcome to the office I forgot I got that um it was a pain in the shop I was in the other day and I was like I'm gonna stick that in the van it's the office uh yeah so 11 nearly 12 minutes of me just chatting nonsense but I hope something will help somebody somewhere along the line um, and just to check in and let you know there'll be plenty more videos coming I said I wanted to do more videos and I want to just I don't just want to sit in the van and ramble on about nonsense but um, I, I do do that I do know I do that sometimes um, but yeah so anybody's got any I'm, I'm not an expert I've only been doing it a couple of years but if anybody's got any questions fire them in the comments below um, I'm always happy to help anybody out where I can like I said I haven't got all the answers I probably haven't got half the answers, but I'm happy to share my experience and my views and my opinions on what I think works and, and what doesn't work. And, you know, what works for me might work for someone else, but what works for me might not work for someone else. So um, if we all help each other along, then we can help the industry grow. And then the more the industry grows, the more products become available, um, which is good for everybody. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Ting the bell icon if you would like to know when I've uploaded another video. And I will catch you all on the next one. Thanks for watching.